I know you're a good guy, Optimus. Please don't hurt me. Please. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Kotobukiya statue review on the Avengers Age of Ultron Artifacts 1 6 scale Mark 43 Iron Man. If you're trying to pre order one of these statues, you can do so at Biggity Big. Big, big, get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And thanks so much to Kotobukiya for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from Kotobukiya, check the links below. Cool looking statue over here. I like the packaging. I like that we get Ultron right here. And then on the top right there, you get the embossed A for the Avengers. And then on the side, you see the statue again. And then on the back, there's a statue once more. There's a read it. Before I read it, pause it now. Then there's a statue one last time. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. Here's Mark 43 Iron Man out of the packaging, and this is a beautiful statue. Very, very vibrant colors. I love the metallic colors we get on this. The red looks really, really good. I love the gold colors. We actually get two different colors of gold, which I think is a little off model, but it's not too distracting from the piece or anything. So I guess that's my only complaint about this guy is that there is some color changes here, but I love the sculpt of this. I really like the way this stance came out over here. The base is awesome. It's just a very reflective figure, and it just shines very brightly so anyway let's take a closer look at the base and then we'll take a closer look at mark 43 iron man so here's a look at the base and i absolutely love this this is the coolest age of ultron base i've seen on any age of ultron figure i like this a lot even though this is not an action figure it's a statue but still man i love this translucent red over here you could even see some detail right there I like that a lot. I love this chrome that they have going on around here. Great choice for having the vac metal come through. I think that's really, really awesome. Then you get these ports right over here that plug right into the bottom of his feet. So you can just push him right in there like that and he stays nice and securely. He's not gonna fall over or anything. Now you're just looking at the helmet sculpt, which I think looks really cool. I like this pose because it reminds me of Ultron's pose. You know what I mean? Like, especially for the marketing and everything, you see Ultron standing there kind of just half turning over his shoulder. So I like that the Iron Man kind of has a similar pose as Ultron. You know, they are family, right? But you get this little milky color right over here in the eyes because this does have a light up function. And there is some assembly required with this figure. It is not very difficult at all. As you can see, it just comes in a few parts. And then the instructions are really good at explaining how to put the batteries in there and everything. And the batteries are included. So I really like that. But going back to this, I really like the gold paint that we have on here too, along with this very, very vibrant red. That red just reflects light very well. And I love how metallic it looks. Nice silvers in here too, these little screw bits and nuts right there that don't function or anything but it makes it look very realistic. Nice looking arm right over there. I love the details that we get right over here for the rib cage and everything. We do get this slightly different colored gold here. It's kind of an orangish gold, more so than this brighter yellow gold. Which at first, just from seeing images, I was like, oh, that doesn't look right. But when you see this in hand, they're both very vibrant colors. And they kind of blend in together pretty nicely. So it doesn't really stick out that much to me having it in person. I actually kind of like that it adds a little bit of texture to it. But still, I think it's a little off model. But it does look really good though. So like, when you see this, it just looks really, really nice. I just really like this color choice of red too. I can't stop talking about that. Then here's his boots right over here. One on the side, we have some nice silver and gold. Looking really nice. Just dig this a lot. Then turn the light on. All you have to do is take this little tab off right over here, which fits in really nicely. You just pick right underneath right there and then remove that and then you can see the light switch and then you turn it around and then there it goes you can't really see the lights too well and then with some lights turned down over here you can see how well he shines and it's pretty bright I don't like the color yellow that we're getting through here though I wish it was a little bit more of a blue color I do see yellow coming through here it's not just this face plate over here it does look like it has a little bit more of a bluish hue I, I do like that so I kind of wish these matched a little bit more but still a very cool effect and then you also get light up functioning over here on the hands so I think that's pretty cool so you can see it on both sides this is lighting up as well. And with two thirds of my lights shut off over here, you can see how well it shines. And putting this back in right here, you just kind of want to like shove this down and then pull the back end down and then it goes right in. So that fits in really well, I like that. So this is a one six scale figurine and it's standing at about a little over 11 inches tall, but with the base included, it is standing at 12 inches. And if you do want to discard the base, which I don't recommend at all, you can't have him standing all by himself, but he's definitely not as sturdy as you can tell. Uh, actually, no, he's standing okay. But still, why would you ditch this, man? This is awesome. 
awesome. Then here's the artifact statue next to the Hot Toys Mark 43 Iron Man. And I like the paint on this one actually a little bit more on this guy over here. I do like the weathered effect. I'm not going to mark that down. But I do think that this is a more metallic looking statue. It just looks a little bit more vibrant. Then here's the Mark 43 statue next to the Mark 43 Marvel Legends figure. And then here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So again, I think this is a great looking statue. I can't explain it other than it's just really fun to look at. Very vibrant looking thing. I just really dig it a lot. Nice sculpt, nice pose. I love the base. And I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here for more shart in your face. Appreciate all your help to my patrons. Check below if you want to become one. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And go to MarvelousNews.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. liked my review. I hope they liked it.